Hello, you all. Welcome back to my channel. This is Sheba, and I'm on here to share an online haul with you guys. But before I get started, I hope that you all had a pretty great weekend, had a blessed weekend. And also, I, as always, I'd like to thank my returning and my new subscribers for being a part of my channel and just coming back and watching my videos, you guys. I appreciate you, each and every one of you all so much for that. Um, but the reason why I wasn't on this weekend, you guys, because I was surprised on Friday um, by my husband and my youngest daughter and my childhood friend in Cal from California. She flew down to spend the weekend with us. And I didn't know she was coming, you guys. They had this all set up since April the 6th. And so my husband had said that my car had a recall on it. And so he was going to have to take it in on the 30th, which was Friday, for the recall. And that was all part of the surprise. Um, but yeah, so when I got off work Friday, I got off at 2.30. And so he thought that that was going to kind of ruin it because um, she was supposed to be coming in around that time. And they didn't want me to be home by me getting off early and then she show up. They wanted me to be gone. So he took me, he was like, you want to go to the Dollar Trees? I'll take you out there. So I'm like, okay, you know, I'm not knowing that he's trying to kill time. And so, yeah, so we went to two different Dollar Trees and then we came home and she was in the garage and my girls was outside with my grandson. So, you know, I'm not thinking of anything. And then my husband told me when I got the car, he was like, you know, um, I kind of lied to you about the car recall. There's no recall, there's nothing wrong with the car. And um, my daughter was, my youngest one was telling me to, you know, come and stand right here. So when my husband left the garage up, my, my best friend was standing in the garage, you guys. I haven't seen her in 32 years. The last time I seen her was the summer of 1989. Um, we're both military brats. So, you know, we lived on the same base and, you know, they stayed, but we moved away. My dad got orders and... He decided to move back to Oklahoma because this is where he joined the military at. And this is where his family is home for both my mom and my dad. So my mom has passed away um, back in 2011. Um, but yeah, my dad is still living. And, you know, this is home. This is where all my family's at. So she decided to fly down and to surprise me. And it was the best surprise ever, you guys. I've, I'm already missing her because I did not expect for that for it to be her behind the garage, in the garage when the door went up. So yes, I was totally surprised. I was in shock. I cried. I mean, just everything. But we had an awesome, awesome weekend. Um, Friday night, we went out to eat at a, uh, you know, it was the family. It just wasn't me and her. Um, but we went out to eat at this uh, barbecue restaurant that we have never ate at before. And um, after that, we went to the bombing site and downtown Oklahoma City where they had the bombing. Um, I haven't never been to the site actually and walked it, but I was there the day before the bombing happened because I had just had my oldest daughter. So of course that was 26 years ago. She wasn't even a month old yet when that happened. And so I was there the day before to get her social security started. And I didn't have her hospital birth certificate. So the lady at the front who was gonna help me, she said, just go home, get the hospital birth certificate and come back. And she said, don't stand in line, just let me see you. And then just when you when I see you, I'll bring let you just come, you know, cut everybody. And she did. My mom wanted to wait till the next day, the day of the bombing, at the same time to go back down there. And I kind of got an attitude where I was like, no, mama. She said, you know, come back, you know, just go home, get it and come back and she'll let me cut the line. And she did. And I'm glad that she did. And I'm glad that we went back that day. Um, I always say that's. You know, for me to have an attitude with my mom just a little bit, you know, just to prove my point that, no, I don't have to wait in line. She's going to let me cut. And, you know, it all worked out. But, you know, of course, you know, devastation happened the very next day. So that was my last time at that place. I didn't even know what the building name was. And, you know, at the time, me and my husband was boyfriend and girlfriend. And he was telling me the Murrah building just blew up. I'm like, what is that? And he's like, it was where you was at yesterday. So that right there, like, you know, just to know that I was there the day before that happened. Yeah, I was, it was, I was blessed. It was a, it was a blessing to do, you know, go back the day that I did the same day and get that taken care of so I can get my baby social security card started. So, yeah, so we went down there to make a long story short and we walked the bomb, you know, the memorial, which was very nice. It was beautiful. Um, she was very, very happy to be there just to see it, you know, in person. And so, yeah, so it was, you know, it was a nice little adventure to go down there and just see, you know, 
how they have it all set up, like I said, which is beautiful. You know, seeing it on TV is one thing, but when you're actually there, it gives you the goosebumps a little bit because it's just like, wow, like this is something that really happened. This is something that, you know, just shook the whole world, you know. So, yeah, so it, that was very nice. And then, you know, Saturday, we, um, me, her, my youngest daughter, we went and got our mani and pedicures. So I did get my nails done. Um, her and my husband was going back and forth because she wanted to pay for everything. She had already came down here and brought all kind of gifts for us. Um, for my grandson, my grandson just latched on to her. He just wanted to be everywhere she was at. Um, yeah, and so she thought, you know, she did enough and then she wanted to still do more by treating for everything, you know, treating us on everywhere we went. And, you know, so her and my husband was funny because they was like, um, She's like, oh, I'll be right back. I got to go to the bathroom real quick and go do so-and-so. And we can see he's already paid for the food, but she's trying to pay for it as well. Funny, you guys. Funny. It was too funny. But we got to pay for some things, but she beat him to the punch on a lot of it. So, yeah, but it was a lot of fun. I had a blast this weekend, you guys. And like I said, not seeing her for 32 years. I was 14. She was 13. We're in our 40s now. So, that's been a long time, you guys. So, it was amazing. So, anyway, you guys, I just want to tell y'all a little shorty, a little chit-chat. Um, but she flew out yesterday, and um, she made it home safely. So, I'm glad about that. So, next year, me and my husband, we're going to go to California and visit her. My husband's never been to California, so this is going to be an adventure for him when we go next year and visit her. So, yeah. So, I'm so excited, you guys. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started with this haul, you guys, to share with you all. So, I did get a couple things in. I have a lot of things coming in from Allie, but I've only received very few right now. And I have a, I had an order that I placed for two sets of 100 of the 20 millimeter beads, and my shipment was canceled. I don't know why my shipment was canceled, but they already, I did dispute it, and they refunded me my money. But I really, really want those beads, you guys. But, you know, it is what it is. But I had ordered these cute little flat back uh, pieces or little bunnies with a little glitter on the inside. I don't know if you can see the glitter or not, but they're really pretty. So I had ordered those, but it was after, you know, or right before Easter or something like that, but I'll have them for next year and I can, you know, use a little bell and hang it and make it as a charm. So I thought those were really pretty. And then I also got these little bees with the uh, hearts. And so I thought that would be cute to add to like, you know, like the little pokey tools or to the, uh, I call them like the little friendship pins um, that everybody's been doing with the uh, safety pins. So yes, yeah, so I got those. And then I had seen Jen who was Strawberry Cream 39. She had hauled, I don't know if she hauled this color or not. And I wasn't looking for these when I was on Alley, but I happened to see them. And I'm like, you know what? That's what she showed. Let me go ahead and add that to my car. So I got these in the blue with a little pink flower. And I think you get 10 in the pack. And then I also got the pink ones. Really pretty. If you can see that there. Really pretty. So I got those. And then from Etsy, I had ordered. Um, this is the website that I ordered from. It's going to cover because it has my address. Wandy Phone. And that's the website. So, I don't know if this is the phone that I can use that, you know, was in the packaging. So, I don't know. But, I don't, this color, I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever use it or not. Probably for something else. But, I did order, you get six sheets of the foam. And so, this is three millimeter foam. And so, of course, you can cut it. And, you know, it's, on, it's six sheets of nice size foam, you guys. But, I can always cut it down. But, I got this because I want to make shakers. And, I don't want to use, like, the little foam tapes to make my sugars anymore. I want to have to actually use something like this where I can just glue down my pieces and make my shaker. So that's why I got that of the foam. Okay. And then from, let me open up the box first because it has my address from Frank Garcia. Sorry about the bump, you guys. So remember, I don't know if you guys watched the video. I was telling you that they have the, this is Easter, of course, you guys. Still trying to get my, my pieces to my hippity hoppity um, set from Doodlebug. But they showed the other dye, and they showed it on the website twice. 
But then when you clicked on one of them, they showed this one. So I thought I didn't know if I ordered it. I was going if I was if I was going to get two of the other one, the same one I already have. Huh, I was getting it all mixed up. But yeah, but actually I got the dye that I need that I was missing. So I had already showed the stamp. So now I got the dye that goes with the stamp from the Hippity Hoppity collection. So yeah, so I got that and that was on sale for seven fifty. And there's like the little card that comes in there. And it has the coupon for 15% off if you use only pretty things. And so, um, weekend before last, this weekend before this past weekend, they had a birthday sale where you get 20% off. So, I just thought I would go ahead and look to see what else I can buy when I purchase this. And so, I came across this right here. And I wasn't looking for it, you guys, but I've seen it. And I'm like, you know what? $10.99, not too bad with 20% off. And again, Jen, who is Strawberry Cream 39, she had uh, shared this. Um, it's a cut and emboss in one step. And she had shared this and she did a project share out of it. And I thought it was really cute. So I went ahead and picked this up. And when I seen this, this was like the complimentary item that goes with that. That's how they had it, I think it was. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. And this is the Sizzix, um Opulent Cardstock Pack. And you get 50 sheets. And so you get the glitter ombre. This is real pretty. You can feel like the texture on it. And then the glitter holographic, the iridescent, the holographic, and the mirror. And it's really pretty. Really pretty. So yeah, so I was happy to get that. And it was this, you guys, was $26.99, which is pretty pricey. Um, but you know, you get 50 sheets, and I know it's some good cardstock uh paper. And so, yeah, so I went and that was my purchase from Frank Garcia. All right. And then I had ordered from Sparkling Ghoul, who is on Instagram. So she was uh, selling some of her items on Instagram. So I went ahead and uh, purchased some, some things from her. This is my second time making a purchase from her. So... Um, I had ordered this little set right here, and so it does come with um, these, like, I think they call them kneading clamps for your ribbon, or, like, you can use paper, like, make pack page flags and clamp them on there and add them to your project, and then it has, like, a little a hole that you can add, like, a jump ring, th jump ring there, and, you know, add it to your project, so I got that, and then I think it was, like, the ribbon kit is what she called it, so it, it came with all these ribbons. So you got this real pretty pink with the gold trim. And then this pink right here. Another pink with the uh, like iridescent. Got this one, like the little check one. And then this one with the scallop, which is really pretty. And then this teal one, or mint one, not teal, but mint. This mint one with the gold trim. This yellow one. This pink one, pink heart one. And then it has this one, the gold little flowers and the mint flowers, really pretty. And then the mint hearts and then the gold glitter hearts, which I got this trim already from Hobby Lobby. And then this trim right here, super pretty. So yeah, so I got those. And then I also ordered her handmade flowers that came in this cute little flower tin or a container. And these are beautiful, you guys. Look at her flowers. So, so pretty. Really, really pretty. Look at those flowers. They are beautiful. So I have a die or like a steel rule die that I can make these out of. And I have a uh, just a regular die too. So I'm going to give my hand at that because you guys, I have so many things planned this weekend that I was gonna do, and I didn't get to do any crafting or any um, YouTube watching or anything, which was fine because, you know, I haven't seen her in 32 years, you guys. I just can't believe it. I mean, it's just been that long since I've seen her, and um, so all my time was focused on her being here. So yeah, and then I also ordered this little bee kit from her. And so, Look at these pretty beads, you guys. These cute little beads, the blue and the pink, the white, the yellow. And you got like these little um, bow beads. 
and the holes at the top. So we got these, and then we got these gold flower charms, and then some more bow charms. Really pretty. This yellow, oh, these beads are so beautiful. So, so beautiful. And then these beads, and then these I got in the blue, and the pink, and the yellow. Really pretty, you guys. So, yeah. So, that's what I ordered from Sparkling Ghoul on Instagram. And I will try to remember to leave the links to all this down below. If I forget a link that you all are interested in, just let me know in the comments, you guys, and I'll add it to the, uh, to the description box. And then I ordered... I also ordered from Amazon, so I've seen a lot of people, you guys, um, haul this, and I actually had this in my cart for some while, for a while. So I got this like um, last weekend. Yeah, I got it last weekend. So everything's just been sitting waiting on me. Um, but yeah, so it has this little like instruction page on how to make a headband, which I won't be making a headband that I can think of right now. But here's the headband. It comes with some of the elastic cord some scissors, this little uh, pink crown, and then these uh, jump rings and lobster clasps. So that's what's included in there. And then it has some rings in here. But I got it for the beads. So here are the beads. So you get the, let me turn it this way. You get the blue, which is this real pretty blue and some clear. And you got all these beautiful beads and you also get the pink ones really pretty let me just take it out the bag so you can see without the glare because i know that glare is kind of in the way so yeah uh -huh. open it up not make a mess so there we go really pretty it's got like a little unicorn charm Look at that, that is so cute. And then it has a flower charm. If I can get it out. It's cute little flower charm. And then it also has like a shooting star charm. And then this, if I could, it has a hole in it, but I guess you can add it to something as well to make, you know, make it, Add it to a project, and you got the little hearts over here. These cute little flowers with the like faceted flowers, what it kind of looks like, and then the pink bows, and then these right here. Really cute. I know you guys have seen this already, but I just want to show show you guys. So yeah, really cute little bead set. From Amazon and it came in this cute little pink box that can be reused and the last thing you guys that I purchased this is from Ariel or Ariel um, who is creative mojo wholesale studio so I was just on her website and I got this in the mail today um, she ships pretty fast as, as well just like sparkling ghoul did um, but I was just on her website because I kind of, you know, like we all do, kind of go back and forth just to see if anybody added anything or whatnot. So, and I like supporting, you know, the small businesses as well, um, crafty businesses. So, yeah, so I went ahead and went on her website because I was uh, just seeing what she had. And I had seen that she had brought these little cute little cassette embellishments back. So I had to go ahead and jump on them before they were sold out again because I missed them when they had when she had them the first time. So, um, you probably have seen these cute little cassette embellishments that remind you of the 80s. So, yeah. So, I had to get those. And you get eight of them in different colors. And so, then I also ordered these cute little donut cabochons. And so, I thought those were really cute. And I, I'm thinking I'm going to order her um, design team kit, too, because... I seen somebody do a video and she had a lot of cute little things in that design kit. I mean, I'm not, I don't, I'm not going to do a subscription, so I may not get everything as I've learned. If you're not doing the subscription, you may not get everything that the subscription has, which is fine. But, um, 
what I get, I know I'll be pleased with. So, yeah, so these little donut uh, flat bags. And you get six of them in a pack. And then I also ordered the beads. These cute little beads. And I like the size of these. You know, I can add to my projects when I'm doing a bead project. So, yeah, so super, super cute. All these fun colors. And then you get a whole bunch of them, you guys. So, yeah. So, was happy about that. So, that is my order from Ariel. So, yeah, you guys. So, that is my online haul that I want to come on here and share with you guys. I'm already 20 minutes in, but I just had to do a little chit-chat. Let you guys know what's been going on. Um, let you know how my weekend went. I hope that you all had a great weekend as well. I just want to come on here and share with, you, share with you guys my weekend. And, you know, what my family did for me by surprising me with my... You know, my childhood friend, my best friend coming in to see me after 32 years. So, yeah, um, like I said, I'm very, very thankful for that. And I'm very, very blessed for that. Um, I do have a Dollar Tree haul as well, but I don't have a whole bunch. I did find a couple of new things. Maybe not so new, but a couple of things. But I'll do that in another video. So, you guys, yeah. So, I hope that you all enjoyed my haul. I do want to thank you all so much for watching. You all have a great week ahead. You all be safe, be blessed, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye, you guys.